Hey Casual fans, this is Carl Reddish and we're at Tyler Texas KMC with Thomas Matchett with his deck tech of his mono fire. Uh, top four, top four deck. So how how you feeling with your uh, your top four deck? I'm like super tense because this is my second KMC like ever, and I'm like a super small town Kaijudo person. You play locally just here at the the castle? Um no, I live in Huntsville, Texas. Okay. And we have two shops. One does like play Kaijudo and the other one does, and it's very very limited. And most of the people I taught how to play are either help them make a deck or something. Absolutely. So you you piece together this this modifier. We got you all the way to top four. Let's talk about each card. Uh, Amber Adept? Um, Amber Adept? Sorry. I kind of like him because I, whenever I play Magic, I like cycling. Okay. And he's just like, if I'm playing someone that doesn't have blockers and I don't want this crack is because I want to turn three at Torhelm, he's just a lot better mm -hmm. to cycle out. So uh, the, the Purging Flames, you used a lot to loot? Yeah. Okay. Was Protector relevant at this tournament? Um, I actually forgot I had Protector and didn't use it. Probably should have. Okay. Because it probably would have, yeah, because a couple times Blinder Beetle took this out and I probably would have just protected and not paid attention to that. Flame Spinner? Why Flame Spinner? Um, Flame Spinner because it's a uh, two drop. There's not many two drops. And also because I've got Fast Tech and other Fast Tech. So it's just for like late game if I need it or that two drop whenever I need it. Okay. Torhem seemed pretty good for you today, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Torhelm just, he, he ran over Aqua Striders for me. He just did all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Counter Strike seems really good with that guy. Oh yeah. Why the single waylay? Um, the single waylay is because I didn't want to run a third of this or a third of this, and I wanted some kind of other spell. And this, I was thinking like, people were going to be playing aggressive, or if they were playing blockers, like if they were playing smaller blockers, or if I ended up playing bugs, because I thought people were going to play bugs for some reason, it would like blow up their little bugs before they could even. Okay. And then uh, Krakus, the Dominator? Yeah, How good was he today for you? Um, he dominated every game. Yep. <laughs> he, whenever he came out, it was it slowed people down. Even like the one I lost in the top four, it was just he slowed them down really bad, because it was just really good. Did you say it was daunting for them? <laughs> Scrappy Punter. I love the juice out of this card. <laughs> it blew up Magruses, and Cyber Scamp is my favorite one because yep. it's so hard for me to get rid of that. And also, it's like blew up a shield, he comes in, something for me to Evo on next turn makes it really nice. Speaking of Evos, Rallybot, Evo Blitz. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's like my Jet Throw starters that I miss because this this happens a lot, and I'll end up turn fouring this because it's just, I really like it because it's just a Jet Throw starter that's a little bit situational. And, you mentioned Jet Throw Starter. Are you familiar with Mono Fire? Uh, yes. The ins and outs of it, when to take, when to keep a card, when to, when to, when to uh, put it in the battlefield. This one is kind of different because I made it yesterday. Okay. So I was kind of like on these two. It was really hard on discards. Like a lot of the times, it was hard to charge. This I usually charge because it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. And that was just something. It just kind of had to go as I went. Mm -hmm. uh, was the Star Dramatics, the Advocate of Fire, relevant? It was actually relevant in, uh, I think it was round three, because, no, no, it was round five, because he was playing red-white, and I got it out, and I'm um, sitting here with this Storm Hill beating down his major AO in the base, nice. and it was really nice, and just did all sorts of fun stuff. You you seem like you're not a fan of uh, Mega Cannon Renegade. It, w it seemed really good. Um, like um, Robbie was saying earlier, it seems like um, a laser arm but it only does it once and I'm definitely gonna find something to replace that because it's not as good as I was hoping it was gonna be yeah. it's like a one-time use and besides that it's really really just 3,000 there's a four, three drop 4,000 yeah most of the time they just block and then and get it on the crackback. Yeah. Laser eyes? Um, laser eyes is because I really like it. Um, because I whenever I played, I played rock bites and laser eyes. I was like, yay! And there's not much removal for red, and it's a low drop removal that I could use for like uh, cracking and just different types of things. Do you know that's the barrage guy? Oh my gosh, it is. Isn't that cool? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Blast Forge sweeper. This is like my favorite, like just one of my favorite new cards because red having draw power seems really good. Because red doesn't get draw power. You, sh you smelt it a lot? Oh yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Shock Troop. Um, he was something I was really iffy about because 
I just I was looking at a few other things, but the fast attack kind of made me pick him. Okay. I was looking at the shield blast four drop creature, but he was definitely better because he also hits flame spitter a lot. Much like drag light of swiftest, crazy. Uh, restless conflict. MVP of today. Really? <laughs> MVP okay. of today because he always ended up like blowing up a blocker like at the right time. Like in the top four, I had put him on a tour which was on something else. So basically, any blocker that came on the field was literally about to die. Like they it weren't gonna stay there at all. Okay. Which is really good. I kind of think he might have been, you know, more balanced at five. But four is pretty pushed on him. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, tornado Flame. Why Tornado Flame over Thundering Clap? Over uh, Blaze Helix? Or a mix of one or two or three of each? The reason I like Tornado Flame is because re I really wanted to run Thundering Clap, but I have too many three drops as it is. Yeah. And it's a five drop, but it's just a really strong shield blast to me because, I mean, even in like um, a mirror match of some kind against Red White or something like that, it's a good hit for me. Or even without that, if I have to heart cast something and I'm that long along in the game, I can do that, and it's just, I don't know, it was just kind of like a personal preference, I guess. Absolutely. And our last little guy is uh, this little little super rare known <laughs> as uh, Warmaster Tatsuri, and how good was he for you today? Um, he was amazing. In the red-white matchup I played, I ended up getting him on a Torm Helm double-double game. Oh yeah, machine gun, yeah. He was just amazing. Like, he, like, the um, first time I played Robbie, he, like, right, the turn after, right, right before I played him, he drew the Mesmerize, played the Mesmerize, and got it, because I was about to drop him in game. Because it was just, he's just really good. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, uh, congratulations on your top four. Top four. Hopefully you. you can turn that into a top two. Yeah. Get your invite to uh, Providence, Rhode Island for the championship in October. And this is a 40 card mono fire uh, rush deck. So if you guys like it, build it yourself. Run it at your local dual days. Run it at a KMC. Uh, and for Thomas Matchup, I'm Carl Reddish. Hope you guys enjoy this deck tech. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Be back for some more. Because you're the one community.